Welcome to video three. Here's where you find out what your skill set is. This will take the most amount of work of anything that you'll do here. And it's well worth it because it will also help you with your job search and your interviews and will even help with competency interviews, believe it or not. So let's get started. But first, let's party. Let's say you go to a two-day party that's being held by a millionaire who's got this hexagonal party space. And when you get into the party space, you find there are six types of people at the party. In one corner, there are the people who are into physical skills, they're into sports, they're into gardening, they're into travel, they're into tangible stuff. Take a look at them for a moment. Would you spend a lot of time there? Next to them, there are the investigatives. They're the curious types. They always ask questions reading books and so forth. They're interested in information and the whys and wherefores. In the next corner, you'll find the creatives. They're into art, music, culture, films, theatre, the lot. Great people to be with. Next to them are the social people. They're the people people. They welcome you into the group, they support you, they develop you, they do everything for you. You move on to the next group. They're the entrepreneurs. They're the movers and shakers. They start things. They get things going. And next to them are the conventionals. What are the conventionals? They're the administrators. They keep things going. So just to summarize, the R's are the realistics. They're the sporty and physical types. The investigatives are the detectives. They ask questions. The artistics are the artists and craftspeople. The social people help and support others. The entrepreneurs lead and motivate others and the conventionals keep things moving. So, if it's a two-day party, which of the corners would you spend most time in? Which are your type of people? Be honest. If I was at that party, I'd be in the artistic corner because I'm a musician in my spare time. And I just love talking to musicians and similar people. Next thing, disaster. Your favourite group of people suddenly leave for another party the other side of town. And you look around the room and say, who's my second choice? If I can't be with my beloved artists, who will I go to next? Guess what? Disaster again. Your second favourite group, they go to another party leaving you behind. So who's your third choice then? You may have three letters at the bottom of the page. Let's say they're A-S-E. Artistic, social and entrepreneurial. And what that means is, maybe you might like to consider a career where you'll be creative with other people leading change. CIA, maybe you'll be a secret agent. You'll be organizing things intelligently in creative ways. So it's up to you. By the way, if you score SIC, you want to work with people, solving problems in a conventional system, you'll probably be a doctor or a nurse. And that's true, those letters do cross relate to those careers. So that's the first way of finding out your skills.